This is St. Vincent's Health Talk, a video magazine with the latest news and developments from St. Vincent's Health Services. In this edition, as always, we start with Safety First by highlighting employees who have volunteered to serve as safety coaches. We will introduce our new midwifery program, take a close look at our vestibular therapy program, and learn about a new program that will benefit both patients and employees. At St. Vincent's, we're investing in the future and working hard to be the hospital of choice for patients, associates, and physicians. We begin this edition of Health Talk discussing safety. Just as we do each morning in Safety Huddle and at the beginning of each meeting at the Medical Center. One of the elements of being a high reliability organization is to reward and recognize our safety coaches. So in this episode of Health Talk, we recognize Jenny Carfee, a Diagnostic Coordinator in the Radiology Department. Jenny explains what it means to be a safety coach. If I had a family member in the hospital, I would want to make sure that all their meds are safe and their equipment around their beds and just total safe area for my family member. And I would want to do the same for patients. My primary role is to be a role model for my technicians in the department and have a safe environment for patients. I also want to see what barriers are affecting the staff that I can help them out and we can make a safer area. And um, I want to share the stories that I've learned from other people's experiences when we meet at patient safety meetings. We ask uh, the staff if there's any safety concerns. We address any equipment failures, any patient issues every morning and we log it in a book so that the evening staff can refer to it. We've also implemented a double check on ID bracelets confirming that this is the correct patient that we're bringing in. We also check the outpatient test request to make sure that the patient's order is correct and we by validate and verifying it. Yes, I have seen progress for safety in my department. Washing of hands is really, really improved. Wearing gloves, double checking charts and ID bracelets. Orders are definitely rechecked and 200% accountability and teamwork has increased greatly for safety. It's a big concern for all our staff. St. Vincent's Medical Center has a new birthplace which includes two private birth suites where mothers can labor and deliver under the guidance of a midwife. Although midwives deliver babies at several hospitals in the area, the birthplace at St. Vincent's is the only in-hospital birthing center in Fairfield County. St. Vincent's has partnered with Circle for Life Midwifery in Shelton, whose staff of certified nurse midwives have obstetrical privileges at the medical center. Sarah Najemi explains her role as a midwife. Here we do no intervention. We listen to the fetal heart with Doppler. Uh, women are not strapped to a monitor. There's no routine IVs. They get to eat, they get to drink, they get to relax, take a shower, and take a tub bath if they need to in labor. They can birth in the water. So this really provides an alternative to typical maternity care in Fairfield County. Our outpatient rehabilitation department is armed with skilled therapists and some of the latest technology to help patients with vestibular or balance problems or issues. Chronic balance issues tend to come from issues stemming from the inner ear or an event in the brain such as a stroke. St. Vincent's Outpatient Rehab currently has two physical therapists on staff that specialize in treating dizziness and balance. Physical therapist Ann Wolf a certified vestibular therapist who is also certified in treating dizziness stemming from the neck discusses how St. Vincent's program differs from others. Our program has uh, therapists who are certified in treating not only dizziness from the inner ear but from the neck. We have um, great uh, equipment such as the dynamic posturography machine, the infrared goggles that can help us diagnose them better and um, we do a comprehensive evaluation not only of the inner ear system but the musculoskeletal system, the sensory system, 
all looking at how the systems are working together which would affect your balance and dizziness. So I think that our program is um, far more comprehensive than others that are out there. The Vestibular Balance Program also holds NASA technology in its pocket. The dynamic posteography machine creates a computerized assessment of patients' balance challenges. This gives therapists an added ability to test patients in a variety of situations and assess multiple systems, including visual, vestibular, muscular, and sensory. Additionally, new infrared goggles can clearly show involuntary eye movement resulting in severe dizziness. With this knowledge, the physical therapists can tell the type of inner ear problem and why the patient's dizziness and balance issues are occurring. Irene Lindquist, coordinator of outpatient physical therapy. And um, especially with the vestibular program, these patients have been dizzy sometimes for many, many years. And um, most of the time when we finish treating them, they're not dizzy anymore. And it just, it's very gratifying to see that because they have their life back. Patients who wish to have an initial assessment must have a physician prescription for therapy. A large and excited group of staff members recently turned out for the blessing and grand opening of the new St. Vincent's Outpatient Pharmacy, located along the chapel corridor off the main lobby. The facility, which came about through the vision of the Medical Center's Patient Family Advisory Board, was created to make the hospital discharge process easier on both the patients and their family members. Now, prescriptions can be filled right at the hospital, saving patients and their families the trouble of stopping at a pharmacy on the way home. In her remarks, St. Vincent's CEO Susan Davis paid tribute to the Patient and Family Advisory Board and to staff members who made the project a reality. And this is not good for our patients, it is great for our patients. Um, so I want to thank everyone that um, worked very, very hard to get us here today, most especially Karen um, for her leadership. But the benefits of the new outpatient pharmacy don't end with patients and their families. Now, employees will also be able to fill their own prescriptions and that of any family member at the convenient location and enjoy a lower cost. According to Executive Director of Pharmacy and Laboratory Services, Karen M. Sinto, the outpatient pharmacy was really two initiatives the organization um, took. One was that about five years ago, um, the Patient Family Advisory Board felt it was very important for the continuity of care of the patients to have the ability to leave the medical center with medications when they can go home to help with that transition of care because sometimes it can be a little stressful to then leave the hospital and then go try to find a pharmacy to get their medication. So it was really to try to better serve our patients and their families as they're leaving our organization to kind of transition home. And the second was actually to, um, to service our employees. Um, we have employees and their families and dependents who are here um, who, who we could help provide the, the pharmaceutical services that uh, make it more convenient for them and um, hopefully provide them a, a, a nice service and a, a you know, nice, nice employee satisfaction. So really twofold, our patients and our employees are both important to us. The outpatient pharmacy also carries many over-the-counter items as well. Stop by and meet our knowledgeable outpatient pharmacy staff, led by pharmacist and manager Amy Kurzetkowski, who had the privilege of filling the ceremonial first prescription following the ribbon cutting. The team will help you transfer your prescriptions and answer any questions you might have. A ribbon cutting for a very different project marked the launch in September of the second annual House of Hope Food Drive, co-sponsored by St. Vincent's and Aquarian Water Company. The two organizations partnered once again to help reduce hunger in the greater Bridgeport area supplying sorely needed food items to area food banks, including the Thomas Burton Center, the Bridgeport Rescue Mission, and St. Vincent's Family Health Center, all in Bridgeport, as well as the Spooner House in Shelton. During the two-month drive, which concluded just before Thanksgiving, employees and visitors to the medical center dropped off non-perishable canned goods and other nutritious food items at the decorated shed located at the hospital entrance. House of Hope co-chairperson Rachel Giliotti talks about the response and how it supports the mission. 
Um, everybody has been really generous with their time and volunteering, um, a lot of donations coming in steadily, and just a lot of positive energy about the whole project. This project is truly a representative of the legacy of St. Vincent and our founding father who um, gave food to those in need. So it 100% represents everything we're about, our mission, and uh, being there for our community and the underserved. Aquarion, St. Vincent's Urgent Care Centers, the Special Needs Center in Trumbull, and Behavioral Health Services Westport Campus also accepted donations and participated in staffing the House of Hope. As of production time, the drive had surpassed 6,000 pounds of food collected. If you would like to learn more about any of the topics discussed in this video, please visit www.stvincents.org. We conclude this issue of Health Talk with St. Vincent's new TV ad airing on regional cable and local network stations. The ad was developed by the marketing department with video production by Manhattan Place Entertainment. The stars of the ad are from the Department of Cardiovascular Services and their patient, whose story is real. I went outside to shovel snow, then I started to get weaker and weaker. I thought it was asthma. It turned out I had a heart condition. We literally had to stop Teresa's stress test to avoid her having a heart attack. Emergency bypass surgery was needed to save her life. Many years later, I feel great. I'm active. I love to travel. I still participate in all my sports. Thanks to St. Vincent's, I'm here to tell my story.